The internet has changed a lot of things over the years, but one thing it has not changed is the sales process. I've studied the sales process for years. It's written a lot of different ways, but it always comes down to this. You listen to the customer, match them up with the right product, demonstrate to them that it is the right product, and close the deal. If you can't close the deal, you go back to listening, ask some softly probing questions, find out what you didn't know, match them up with the right product, demonstrate it, and close the deal. It's always been that way, and it's still that way. The difference is the sales process starts online. The internet has ears. It listens to the shopper online. It says, I'm going to shut up until you click on something. And then I'm going to shut up until you click on something. The customer, your customer, is having a conversation with your website or your inventory on cars.com, on autotrader.com, or someplace else. But it listens to the customer, helps match them up with the right vehicle, demonstrates the vehicle. That's why we need photos. That's why we need seller's notes. That's why we need videos. But it doesn't close the deal. It doesn't close the deal. So, is this online stuff advertising or is it sales? So we go to the e-commerce folks and find out what they do. They go from the the uh, looking at the uh, car online or looking at a product online to putting it in a shopping cart. As an example, I live out in a little farm out in North Carolina. Needed some, need, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law passed. She's going to come live with us. Where are we going to put us? Well, I go online to Amazon and I look for a place to put my mother-in-law, you know. And she likes green, so there's a search results page. I just like your cars, search results page. Click on it. There's one product details page. Find out all the information. I can put that thing in the shopping cart and buy it and it ships to my house and she's got a place to live, huh? Wonderful. This works exactly the same way your stuff works online, except that in e-commerce, we have a shopping cart leading to a checkout. In our business, same thing, search results page to a vehicle details page, but then no one can buy a car from you until they phone, email, chat, or walk into the store. You don't have a shopping cart, so they have to transition from all these technological touch points, that conversation, to a human conversation by phone, email, chat, or walking into the store. That's the difference. Sales hasn't changed. Where it starts is online. The listening, matchmaking, demonstrating starts there then it transitions over to the human portion of it, but it's all selling. And those folks in your store who are taking pictures, making videos, writing seller's notes, need to understand that they're selling cars. This is a search results page on a dealer's site up in Canada. I'm an F-250 guy, I told you I live on a farm, gotta have me a big truck. Brand new F-250s, here's seven different vehicles on the same page, they all have exactly the same stock photo, the exact same description, the only thing that's different is the price. This one has a different model code, it's F-2A instead of, the consumer has no idea. There's nothing differentiating it, you've given them an opportunity to either go to every one of these details pages and figure out what the difference is or go to somebody else's site. And ladies and gentlemen, your competition forevermore is not feet away, miles away, or anything, it's a click away. They can go to somebody else's site, or if they're on autotrader, cars.com, someplace else, they just go to somebody else's listing back in the search results page. Here's a uh, description of a vehicle on one of these sites. Used cars in Port whatever, British Columbia, looking for quality used cars? 
I know why they do this. You put all these different local city names in there, it helps your SEO, or it used to, huh? But that's not what the description's for. You've already got somebody on your site, somebody looking for a car, they want to buy something. There's, do, should I call you, phone you, email, or walk in? This is what tells them you're the right store and that's the right car. Don't waste it on these other things. Tell them why it's the right product, give them preference for the product, and why you're the right store. Preference for the store. Maximizing those two kinds of preference is exactly what makes them phone, email, chat, or walk into the store. They don't want to transition from the online discussion to the human discussion. They're afraid until they know it's the right store with the right product. There's another vehicle details page that does a little bit better of the descriptions. Why is this truck more? Because it's diesel. These kind, what are the important attributes? And it ain't intermittent windshield wipers or power locks, because he got them on every doggone car. It's the things that differentiate it, the things that really matter. That's what belongs on this page. Here's another one, trying to demonstrate value by showing what the price used to be and what the price is now. It's one more indicator that this is not just the right car, but the right place to buy. These are the tiny little things out of one tiny little area of everything we teach in Driving Sales University that helps you sell more cars. You've got to get the conversations right online so that you have a chance to get the conversation in the store. We talk about all the things that help you get more search results pages per thousand. We go through each one of them and train you on that. Then we talk about all the things that help you convert from a search results page to a vehicle details page. And we go into all of those issues with detailed training. Then we go back and talk about all the things that help you get those folks from a vehicle details page to a contact, a phone, email, chat, or walking into the store because you can't make a dollar till they do. And we've got all those items with detailed training. That's what driving sales is about. This is one tiny portion of driving sales university, but the university takes each one of those down to the smallest level. So your folks know not just that their metric is low from my data, but how to improve it from BART selling co training content and driving sales university. This is the map that I created to simplify the whole thing. You do an awful lot of things, whether it's TV advertising, auto trader, your own website, search engine marketing, you do a ton of things to generate contact, to drive people to phone, email, chat, or walking in, or more futuristically video chat. You do all those things to get this to happen, and then you have an awful lot of training needs inside the store. But there's a seesaw here. What should I focus on, Dennis? Generating more sales traffic or converting more of those to leads? What do I need to do first? And it's probably the thing you've been ignoring. Because the more you do of this, the more traffic you have going to the store, and anything you do to convert it to a sale better, will pay off more than it used to because you're driving more traffic to the store. If you're doing real good over here, anything you do to drive traffic to that great close process that you've got will do better because you're optimized over here. Whatever you're strong on, now it's time to do the other thing. We've got training content on both sides of this and you can see from these testimonials we've got very pleased dealers on both sides of the equation. There's an online conversation, transitioning to a phone, email, chat, or walking in where that human conversation takes over. That's the sales process today. It's no different when I, than when I sold cars in 79. It's no different than when my grandfather owned his first dealership before I was even born. Except that it starts online. Some of your folks need a little help understanding how to adjust to that, and that's what Driving Sales University is all about. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. I'll hang around the booth as long as you need me to. 
I'm Dennis Galbraith. This is Driving Sales University, and you're on your way to better profitability. Thanks so much.